Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we will continue to focus on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy-style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history, starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge, and I'll put links to them in the description box below. If this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. Ilsa here is pregnant, and she is in her second trimester. She will be in her third trimester in three hours. I do have teenage pregnancy turned on in my game. We are in the Stone Age. It is more realistic gameplay. It seems that Isle is very, very angry oh, because she discovered a teen pregnancy. I don't know why that would be such a problem in the Stone Age, but she seems very angry. Perhaps she wanted to choose who the father of the next Symbolus would be, and that's why she's angry. She's very angry. I'm going to have her paint an angry angry painting. So really hasn't been to this part of the island. Hi, huh? I would you like watch? to feel my baby. I'm pregnant. Oh. 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 I am oh, so happy. <laughs> I am going to have a baby and our oh, tribe is going to get oh, bigger. Babe. That's wonderful to hear. Oh. She's bunny hopping because <laughs> she's so happy. Oh, that babe. is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Oh. Well, that's good you can do that when you're pregnant. Okay, she's putting on a face mask. Face masks are perfect skin care for acne treatments. So she must have learned how to do this from her father before he passed away. Because I know he used to do that when he was stressed. Gonna have her go back to the land. This is Isle's angry painting. It looks to be muddy water with some sort of worm fish in it. She is trying to get her anger out. I didn't get any CC rocks that she could hit. So she's just gonna have to paint her anger out. I need to calm down. I can't go around being angry. We, we do need more members of the tribe. I just wish I was able to have picked my child's partner. It's alright. You can calm down. Babies are supposed to happen. I am just so mad. I could punch something. But we do need more people in the tribe, so I really need to calm down about this. She wants to rant and rave. She wants to create an excellent painting, and she wants to brew an herbal remedy. Well, she can't brew an herbal remedy because she is out of materials to brew an herbal remedy. Yeah, she doesn't have anything to brew an herbal remedy with. She didn't really do much. She still has 13 hours of anger. Uh, maybe she could exercise. She could do some peeve push-ups and she could do some sit-ups of fury work out her anger it doesn't seem to even be affecting that but she is working out I don't know to talk to her mom she doesn't realize her mother's so angry but Isle is really mad Curva. I love you mom so, so. he's just gonna keep doing her exercises this is like, mom is working out a lot. I don't know why. I have this crazy idea that we capture energy from the sun. That is the stupidest idea, I was thinking. I am very mad at you. You've crossed the line with me. But mom, what was I supposed to do? You were supposed to let me pick the male for you. Oh, she's got a negative sentiment about her mother now. Ilsa feels wronged by Isle, and being around Isle will remind Ilsa of this pain. I am so sorry I didn't tell you I was going off to flowery fields. I know, you just saw me having babies left and right. She feels a little bit better that she yelled at her daughter. Ilsa has realized her mother is not going to cook her any food because her mother is very angry at her. Her mother's not going to do it. She's just going to go get some leftover forages stew. She really should practice her cooking, but she's sort of lazy right at the moment. She feels a close connection to Aie. She's mad at oh. her mother. Oh, no, man. She really can't ta stand small talk. Because of her personality type, that's from Kawhi Stacy's Slice of Life, I believe. She put the 16 personality types in there. Let's see what personality type they gave her. They gave her mastermind. INTJ, imaginative and strategic thinkers with a plan for everything. Popular hobbies for INTJ include reading, cultural events, taking classes, appreciating art, and computers and video games, which don't exist. Independent sports such as swimming, back 
packing and running marathons. Oh, so she could go swimming. So perhaps after she's done eating, I'll have her go give herself some cramps oh. by swimming some laps. Oh. And that'll keep oh, her healthy oh. for the baby. So Isle is thinking about painting trees. Yeah. She's really enjoying throwing Please, um. colors onto <laughs> this piece of cloth. Ilsa is swimming. Working on her fitness. She had some boiled frog hot pots, so she's feeling really agile. She's got an extra leap in her step, and we will sell Isle's paintings because they're gonna have to build new structures. I will probably tally up all of the money they've made from selling collectibles and paintings when we go into the next era. Isle's still angry. No matter what she's doing, is not getting her anger away. Okay, Ilsa's had her fun. She's gonna get out of the pool. It's raining out. She can uh, nurture the insects, and then I'm gonna have her go take a nap. Oh, it looks like, yeah, lightning. We're not gonna deal with lightning. We'll just have her go to bed. So she can get out of the rain, because she remembers her father dying of lightning. And she doesn't want to be out in the rain. Yeah, once Isle is done, I'm gonna have her use the rock. She's checking her body out. Am I aging well? Oh, my skin looks a little wrinkly. These young girls, how am I gonna compete? Maybe I should find myself another male and have another child. I could easily have a girl and throw Ilsa out of the clan, because she did something I didn't want her to do, and I still am the tribe leader. So she's practicing her flirting. She's really not feeling it though, because she is very angry. Oh, it looks like she has started her cycle. I have a go claim this item that the lightning created when it struck the ground. Um, it is two in the morning. I'm gonna go have her take a nap. Oh my goodness. I had hoped that that wouldn't happen, but she did get struck by lightning. I'm gonna have her sleep it off because now she's dazed. I can't have her die before potties can be created. So we're gonna have to think about building another structure for things to be put inside. It's pretty dangerous to live on this island. We got volcanoes and lightning strikes. So Ilsa really has to use the rock. She woke up really having to use the rock. She's remembering her first woohoo in the bush. And uh, she is in her third trimester. So she could give birth at any moment. She's mentally drained. Uh, Ilsa will be stepping out of the spotlight for a while. This sim will be less chatty. I should have her go cook something on the grill. She needs to improve her cooking if she's going to be the tribe leader. She could grill fish on a stick. We are going to have to start working on making this more look like the next era. So when they happen to go into the next era, it won't be such a shock. And we'll just say that Ilsa has been thinking about things and inventing things. But Ilsa has to make herself some food. Ah. She really doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> She's thinking about her baby. Ah. What will my baby be oh, like? Oh, I really gosh, hate to uh. clean things. Maybe I could have my friends over and they could clean things up. Suddenly, because it's raining, it is cooking that fish on the grill isn't working for her. So she is going to have to eat this apple. Uh, she will not be eating carrots. I will be putting those into aisles inventory. She does have to have a girl child to inherit the clan when she gets old, but she will be the clan leader for a while. I mean, she's not the clan leader till Isle dies right now. She does, it doesn't really matter what child type of child she has. I'm gonna have her practice her speech so she can develop her charisma because when she is the clan leader, she is going to have to be able to command the other people to do things. She's wet from being out in the rain trying to cook and doing a bad job because the flame in the grill went out. The aisle is pretty hungry and very, very angry. She's gonna come over here try not to get struck by lightning again. She'll just have to eat whatever is in her inventory because everything in the cold rock is spoiled. So she's gonna have to eat some grapes. She can eat some lemons. She can make a fruit salad in her stomach. Bazooba. Oh, snurb. Frika de Funa Banajir. She sees that her mom's yes. black and scarred. Bon and Are you all right, mom? What happened? <laughs> oh, yes. You look like a mess. Right. I got struck by lightning. I was out picking up a rock on the dirt and the lightning came from the sky. It, the lightning gods are mad at you because you're pregnant. 
I don't believe that's true, Mother. I think you're just saying that to make me upset. The sun's gonna come out, and I will still have my baby. So the lightning gods... Lightning gods are mad at you. Don't tell me what the gods are and are not. Ilsa tried to talk to her mother. Mom, I'm trying to show you that we need to have more tribe people, and that me having a baby is good for the tribe. I am not going to listen to reason. I am just so angry. You should listen to what I tell you to do. I am the chieftain. I'm just so mad. Tub has not been cleaned since Flint built it, so she's going to have to clean this out. And then I'm going to have her uh, take a bath. Yeah, Ilsa is taking care of the grubs. She's going to eat an apple. Going to have her use the rock. Okay, she's successfully grilling this fish. Isle is over here taking her <laughs> bath, uh. washing off some of that lightning strike, charred flesh that she has. And oh, yeah. yeah, she was successful in making this fish, but it is a poor fish on a stick, which I understand because she doesn't really know how to cook. Yeah, it's pretty bad. She's very playful right now. Probably because she ate some fresh fish, even though it was poor fish. Yeah, she doesn't. She only has level ones in all of her skills. She hasn't found a focus in life. Have her swim a little bit. Doesn't seem to be helping her hygiene. It seems to be helping her fun, though. She can take a bath, and then I could have her go back to sleep because she's starting to get tired. She gets tired really easy, being pregnant. Hello there, it's so good to see you. Oh, you're fabulous. Uh, my daughter is pregnant and I just let her get away with anything. That is true, you do. I hate working out. How do you look so good? I run a lot from dinosaurs in the forest. It's my competition. I try to outrun them. And then when I get to the bottom of the hill, I leap as fast as a frog into the water and the dinosaurs do not get me. Have you ever seen any bears when you're in the forest taunting those dinosaurs to chase you? Do you run from the bears like you run from the dinosaurs? Like they're chasing you? Like they're a guard dinosaur? Isle's really hungry, so she is going to leave Mari over here to talk to herself. Isle's coming over here to get her fish she just made. Mari says, I need to get some things done. It was nice seeing you. Isle looks like she's calmed down from her anger, but she is unhappy because Why? she's bleeding. So the thought of her going off and finding a male and creating another child to possibly take over from Air from Ilsa is not possible right now. But the thunder has moved back in. She's practicing her speech because while I would love her to go outside and work on her handiness, it's really not safe for her to work on her handiness. I wonder if she could, we could buy a handiness table and put it inside the hut. Isle's very close to leveling her charisma to level 6. She wants to go fishing, but we're not going to risk her going out fishing. Isle has reached charisma level 6. Okay, so there's still the danger of lightning. I'm just going to have her nap for a bit because it's really not safe for her to go anywhere. Ilsa really has to use the rock, so I'm sending her off to do that. The baby is probably pressing on her bladder. So she's going off to use the rock. She's terrified. She's out in the storm. What am I doing out here in this thunderstorm? But she has to heed the call of nature, so there's nothing we can do. Isle's trying to sleep off her fear of the thunderstorms. That bath did not take away the burns on her body. Didn't solve her charred look. Ilsa's pretty terrified being out in this storm. We're still waiting for her to have her baby. She could give birth at any moment. She's over in the hut now, and she is getting herself some food. This looks to be the, some of the food her mother made. Now, this is the food that she made. She's finishing off the poor food that she made. And she is... Probably gonna get some more to eat. Oh, She's still yes. hungry. And I really don't want her to be running off to wash those dishes in the middle of the thunderstorm. Helga. So she's gonna sit here and eat her food. This is the fish her mother cooked. Mm -hmm. This food is excellent. I love this lactose free. She's still dreaming about her baby. Uh. 
wonder if she can do anything like think about baby names, pregnancy mm. and family, define pregnancy wish. She's defined her wish. She's pretty happy being pregnant. Makes her feel good. Makes her feel like she's doing something for the mm. clan. She's been told since she was a toddler that it's her job to be chiefess of the tribe so she happy to be pregnant because she has to create a tribe her brothers all moved away she's gonna practice flirting she is a teenager so she's thinking teenage dreams and you know if she wants any other males you know she got that one random for being in a bush she was a young male needs to get any better males she's gonna have to practice her skills at flirting so that's what she's doing right now so she's practicing her kissing skills now. It's still threatening lightning out there, so Isle is still sleeping. That struck very close. I look pretty fine. I look really good. Look at me. I'm good looking. I wish everybody was as good looking as me. Isle is terrified. For being out in this rain, she's gonna hide under the covers and nap. I just gotta get her out of the storm. I can't have her struck by lightning again. Oh, she she was almost struck by lightning. That was very close. So she was narrowly missed that time. Storm is making it so they really can't do anything outside. We've already lost one Cinderella's to lightning. I'm not gonna lose another one to lightning if I can help it. She has yet to pee herself like her mother does. Oh, she has not gone off to Granite Falls. Isle has not taught Ilsa about going to ask the nature spirit for its blessing at Granite Falls. Perhaps Isle's anger has made her forgot the family tradition. So she's going to have to do something. This child is not going to be blessed by the nature spirits. She's very close to giving birth, so she, it's a little late for her to go to Granite Falls. I think her mother has to talk to her about this. I'm very sorry for yelling at you. I have to tell you that you need to go to Granite Falls and thank the nature spirit for your fertility. Because that is what we do in this family when you're pregnant. If you don't do that, your child will not have the blessing of the nature spirit. It's a little late for me to travel all that way to Granite Falls, mother. I'm about to give birth, I think, at any moment. I would hate to have to fight animals to get to the nature spirit. Well, next time you're pregnant, you will have to leave much earlier in your pregnancy. It's very important to thank the nature spirit. He will give you his blessings, and then you will shine from within. I already feel like I'm shining from within without the blessings of the nature spirits. I think the stone goddesses have blessed me. You think the stone goddesses bless you? Well then that's good too. Isle wants the best for Ilsa and thinks she's wonderful. So she feels that this mother-daughter talk has patched things up and it does look like that is the case because Ilsa is not feeling that her mother hurt her. Is there anything that you need to talk to me about? You just talk to me. I feel horrible. I feel my whole body hurts. I don't know what to do. Isle is going to go use the rock and Ilsa is just so tired. She's gonna go get some more sleep because this baby just doesn't want to come out of her. Ilsa is trying to sleep but her bladder is not letting her and now she's really, really hungry. There's really nothing safe for Isle to do at 11 o'clock at night. Ilsa has to use the rock so bad, I'm gonna send her off to use the rock, and she wants to eat something, but there's nothing to eat. So she's gonna have to eat apples. Yeah, there's something wrong with this cold rock. It's not keeping things cold. I'm gonna sell this cold rock and get them a new cooling stone. It could just be that it's old. The food should be lasting longer in this cold rock. From hearing someone's childhood sad experience, Ilsa is shocked to hear that her favorite person has been through a lot and she promised to be supportive towards them and there whenever they need to talk. So it seems her mother has confessed that something went on in her childhood is more understanding of her mother and her mother's trials. Her mother's been through a lot. You know, we are in the Stone Age. It's pretty rough to live in the Stone Age. Yeah, she felt like she almost got struck by lightning, but she's gonna eat her lemon and then she's gonna nap on this log. Because I can't really send her out and run the risk that she'll get struck by lightning and die. Oh, but she's gone into labor. So I'm just gonna let her have the baby. Isle is making some frog stew 
And I just sent Ilsa to take a nap. I'm trying to get her through her uh, labor, so it will create a bassinet for her. Uh, I'll get struck by lightning again. And she's thinking about a family member. This time she didn't get charred though. She's pretty hungry. It says she wants to nap. Well, I don't blame her. She did get struck by lightning, so... This is the second time Isle's been struck by lightning. I hope that doesn't kill her as well. So that did kill Flint. So I'm just gonna have her eat her frogs, and then she's gonna nap. She's gonna get some leftovers while she's in a lot of pain. She's got 59 minutes. She's gonna eat the frog yeah. stew. Maybe that will make her baby oh. more agile. Oh. 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 She's in so much pain. Oh. She is going to give birth in seven minutes. Mm -hmm. Isle is still asleep mm -hmm. while her child mm -hmm. is in labor. She's going to go give birth now. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, she's given birth to her baby in the uh, provided yeah. bassinet. No, boo. She's had a baby boy. What can we name the baby boy? The father's name was Ben. Yeah, we'll name it after the father. Okay, so she had a baby boy. Aww. And his name is Ben. Aww. She's breastfeeding the baby because that's all she has. She was not able to get an animal bladder and fill it with milk from an animal. So for all her self-righteous talk about not wanting to breastfeed the baby, that's what she's doing. Rebuda. I think I'm going to end the episode here. We will be going into the next era of the stone age when baby Ben becomes a child so we're going to be starting our transition into the next era I have to decide which era I'm going to be doing I don't know if I'm going to be doing Egypt or the classical era so thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house if you liked what you saw be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to follow the Symbilis tribe on their journey through the stone age it really helps us out have a great week see you soon